Hello, I'm Lenny, one of the co-founders of Protocols.io. We recently partnered with the Public Library of Science to improve the reporting and reproducibility of published methods. Here are researchers Zita and Patricia, whose PLOS Biology paper was just published last week, sharing why they're supporting this initiative. Hello, my name is Zita Santos. And I'm Patricia Francisco. And we have been developing our project in Ribeiro Lab, in Sao Paulo Mo Center for the Unknown. And in the lab, we work with um, behavior, feeding behavior, and we want to understand how animals uh, choose what to eat. We have just now published our paper in PLOS Biology, uh, where we show that essential amino acids and microbiome are crucial in these feeding decisions. So sometimes it's, uh, it's difficult in science to uh, do the things exactly the same, so it's very important that you have uh, a centralized uh, um, software or platform where you can know exactly how uh, the experiments were done. So then if other people want to reproduce our results, it's important that they know exactly the way we did it. Uh, so for that we have the Protocols IO platform. And actually we can use it even as an app in our cell phones, which we think is, uh, is very nice. If we are doing one experiment, we can actually be looking at the protocols while we are doing it and actually make notes at the same time. So with this, we encourage everyone to submit their protocols to protocols IO. IO. <laughs> <laughs> And here is a quick overview of how this works. When you're done creating your new protocol, click the Get DOI button that will register it with Crossref. And then you can use that in your materials and methods of the PLOS manuscript. So here's an example from Zita and Patricia's paper. If you go to the materials and methods, there is a link to the collection of protocols accompanying their paper. And as soon as the manuscript is published, we'll link right back to it automatically. We'll add the citation to it so you don't have to worry about that. And of course, as Zita and Patricia mentioned, one of the most beautiful parts of this is that the protocols are dynamic and interactive. So you can run them as you do your experiment on the web or on your mobile device. You can comment and ask questions on these protocols on the protocol level or directly on an individual step as you can see here and for one more perspective on this partnership here is Professor Zoya Gnatova also a PLOS biology author. The platform of Protocols IO is unique in its constellation of sharing detailed protocols which are directly linked to a specific publication in our daily life, we often use uh, generic protocols uh, and the majority of which are pretty well established in the community. However, when you perform experiment of those protocols and could undergo experiment specific or maybe cell specific um, adjustments, those small changes, however, remain invisible in a publication as we routinely refer to the generic protocol. Therefore, it's of importance to share these details with the scientific community. And I believe that Protocols IO platform uh, fills in an important niche which will facilitate the experimental exchange uh, in the community and enhance the transparency of our experiments. Thank you for watching and we hope you'll find these protocols useful and will share yours for the benefit of other scientists. Thank you.